Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and it's time for Pro Wrestling, brother. EC Dub, EC Dub, EC Dub. <laughs> okay, this game is not ECW, but this is real fun to play when I was a kid. And you got four sets of teams right here. Uh, you play in tag team form. And Orient Express, uh, that was a real tag team, by the way. I'm surprised Vince McMahon didn't sue this company for making this game. Um, and so, yeah, you got the Road Warriors right there, <laughs> Rey Mysterio twins on the bottom, and then uh, you know those two other teams. They look like kind of like Crush when he had blonde hair. Um, and so, yeah, this is a very simplistic wrestling game. This is back in, like, 86 or 87, so <laughs> you can't really expect too much from this game. Whoa, just jumped over the <laughs> over the ring there. Okay, and... Yeah, but look at this. They have entrances right here. At least this wrestling game has entrances. I mean, WrestleMania for the NES to even have that. So, I mean, that was pretty cool. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, and, and it tells you what you're doing. Punch kick, punch, as the referee does the same, uh, the same motion of there, do a little dance or something, but, yeah, this game really brings back a lot of memories, um, it doesn't look much right here, and the game hasn't aged well, but, I mean, when you were a kid and you played this, especially if you're a wrestling fan, during that time, during the Hulkamania era, um, I mean, this game was definitely fun to play, and I believe I got real far in this game, I think I beat it, and my friends was watching me beat it, and I got real far in it, and... What the heck? I, I'm supposed to have more energy than that. What the heck is up with that? Um, oh, there we go. Here's another glitch. Um, I've been having to do with a lot of glitch, glitches lately, even with these ROMs. But, anyway, um... Oh, body attack. Um, yeah, so, I, uh, Star Soldier and Jay, um, I don't know if you guys have this game or not, but, uh... I'd like to see you two play this game, do commentary together over it. I think that would be ECW. Um, but yeah, I mean, for 8-bit wrestling game right here for the Master System, um, it's definitely not as good. It's still not as good as WrestleMania for the NES or Pro Wrestling for the NES, which is, I believe, is no relation to this game. But, I mean, it's not as good as those games, but this game was definitely fun to play back then when you were a kid. And I'm trying to remember the controls right here. I think I'm getting used to the controls again. I mean, you talk about a long time no play. I mean, you know, I did Rocky uh, about a week ago now, or, or almost a week ago. And, man, I got to tell you. Uh, now, two thousand. Uh, last time I played Rocky was 2003. Um, but this game right here, I mean, I literally haven't played it since, I think, I'm not kidding, probably 88 or 89. So that's 20-something years ago. It's been about 20 years, it's safe to say, that I have, since I have played this game. So it just dawned on me one day, you know. Sometimes these uh, long-time no plays and just come in my head, you know, and say, hey, um, you know, man, I got to do a, a long-time no play. I haven't played that in so freaking long. But, yeah, um... This game, yeah, it don't look much right here, but you gotta remember, this is back in 86, 87, the Sega Master System, which is, that I know I'm gonna get heat from Jeff, but not as good as the NES. And, uh, the NES had a better library of games anyway, but this game right here, pretty fun wrestling game. Um, it gets kind of repetitive and boring real quick, but, uh, you know, WrestleMania is kind of the same way, but when you were a kid and you were a wrestling fan, they kind of didn't bother you. I mean, you, a lot of, uh, kids my age... Uh, back then, we all played wrestling games. We enjoyed it. Um, and now today, you're like, whoa, these games are bunk, you know. I mean, but, you know, you got to remember, back then, you know, they were fun. And for the, you know, the 8-bit capabilities that they have, you know, it, it was limited, but still fun. And so what's weird right here, though, is uh, you got, okay, this is round two. You know, I finally got past the first round, and you can tell at the top of the screen, it says 2R, second round with 2 minutes, 45 seconds left. So you have a short time limit, and you got to go through 10 rounds, I believe, in each circuit. I'm in the Mexican League right here, and, yeah, it's weird. Um, you got to go through 10 rounds, which is, yeah, uh, imagine a 10-fall match. I mean, <laughs> you know, we know an Iron Man match. We've heard of, you know, Iron Man matches, 30-minute, 60-minute Iron Man matches in wrestling. But a 10-fall match, we've heard a two, two out of three falls, you know, but a 10-fall match, 
That's freaking crazy. Even from back then, it's like uh, we don't even do that stuff today. I don't think. I mean, I'm not really a wrestling fan anymore. I don't really watch it anymore. I just try to keep up with it on the internet. But <laughs> I never heard of a ten fall match. I mean, I've heard of a best of seven match back in Starcade '95, I think, when it was New Japan Pro Wrestling versus WCW. But I mean, that was that was a different thing. But yeah, this is weird. So this is only the second round right here. Um, so pretty repetitive gameplay. But when you were a kid, I, I mean, yeah, this is this is some fun stuff right here. And, and it's only it only has four teams, but you know, um, they they resemble the team I'm playing with here resembles the Road Warriors to me a little bit. I'm playing as Road Warrior Hawk right there, I guess. And you're fighting the uh, Orient the Orient Express, uh, Express what the heck? The Orient Express from the WWF, whatever it was called back then, WWF. Uh, and and uh, the other two teams you haven't seen yet, um, I guess Luchadors, Rey Mysterio, and and somebody, and Rey Mysterio and his dad, <laughs> and, uh, against. And then you got the Crush Brothers. Looks like uh, they look like the team of uh, what's it called back then? The Skyscrapers, Sid Vicious and D Dangerous Dan Spivey, I think it was his name. Where looks like a young Brian Adams as Crush. God rest his soul. And yeah, so I won the second round pretty easily. So it's not hard to learn the controls in this game. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. If you got them on the ground, you can like hit down button one, down button two on the Sega Master System controller. Uh, for a better description of the controls, just go to GameFacts.com and look up this game. You know, they got a little fact on there. Um, and so yeah. Um, Oh, there we go, the Lariat, yeah. <laughs> the JBL Lariat, the clothes line from Hill. Alright, so, yeah, I mean, I'm doing the same thing here over and over and over again, but, uh, you know, again, if you played this game when you were a kid, you would probably enjoyed it, but if you come across this now for the first time, I mean, even though you're you may, you're an old school gamer, you know, it, it's, it's one of those games that has not aged well. Um, so... Yeah, this is probably going to be, like, the only video I do of this. I might do a part two. I don't know. Um, so, I mean, well, if you see the title of the video and it says part one, then that means it's going to be a part two. But uh, I just might, you know, play with the other characters in this game. And uh, I don't remember the ending. So, I mean, uh, it's probably not, not much else to show in this game. So, even though it may say part one in the title of the video, there might not be a part two. I'm going to keep playing it and see if there's anything anything different happens with the challenge or the characters I'm using. And I'll probably go ahead and show the other characters' moves. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens because this is going to be a long process. This is only the third round here, and it's a ten-fall match. So, yeah, and then there's two more leagues. I think the Pacific League and then the World League. And I guess it's ten rounds also. So, yeah, um, not, mu not much else to say about this, but I still want to go ahead and reach the 11-minute mark here. I wonder if there's a way to hit the referee. I haven't tried that. Um, funny story on WWF Raw for the Super Nintendo. You keep on knocking down the referee. You won't get disqualified, but the referee will, like, throw his hands in the air, and, like, that's it, I had enough, and he'll walk out of the match. So the only way for the match to end after that would be when your opponent is completely off energy and you win by KO. So, yeah, um, and, and this game is not as good as Raw or, or Royal Rumble. Of course, those are 16-bit games, but, you know, the bit doesn't, uh, the, the bigger bit and bigger graphics doesn't mean it's a better game anyway. But... You know, um, those games kind of haven't aged well either, but those are still fun to play. I mean, wrestling games are fun to play back then. Even some people who were not wrestling fans were uh, were fans of some of the wrestling games because, you know, I guess the mechanics, the controls or whatever, and the different characters you got to use. As I make up filler commentary here for this boring gameplay that's repetitive, um, another funny story about one of the wrestling games... WWF Royal Rumble for the Super Nintendo. Some of you old school wrestling fans may be familiar with a wrestler named IRS, Erwin R. Scheister, the tax man. Well, a friend of mine was not familiar with that character, and when he saw the character's name on the top of the screen, he goes, Iris? 
I want to play as Iris. <laughs> I'm like, dude, that's IRS. And he goes, well, I don't know. Dude, I didn't know. I mean, it's like, this is like it says Iris. I mean, I know some guys named Iris. And I said, okay, anyway. <laughs> so I guess me and my friend were like doing some uh, Star Soldier and Jay commentary before there was Star Soldier and Jay. <laughs> but anyway, um, mercifully, I am running out of time here. So that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, might be a part two or part three. I don't know. Not promising anything. Uh, we'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, go ahead and give this game a try. And Jay and Star Soldier, um, please uh, do a uh, video with this. Hopefully you have the game in your collection. If not, that's okay. I'd like, like to see you guys. This is a request. I might uh, do a response to one of your videos. I don't know. Till then, God bless and take care.